You are doing your everything shower wrong, but that's okay because I'm here to help. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find give all my love and nothing's gonna tear us apart. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my bathroom. If you are new here, my name is Jazz. I create a lot of content on self-care, how to become your best self, how to pour in yourself, how to get to your higher self. So if you like content like that, go ahead and join the family and give this video a like. It really helps me out. I have created so many versions of this video that I'm about to talk about now over on TikTok. So if you have a very short attention span, I will link all the relevant videos in the description below. But if you want an in-depth corrective shower routine, keep on watching. So I'm kind of being a little bit dramatic when I say you're doing your everything shower wrong, all right? Shower however you want to, use one product, use 10 products, I don't care. But for me, showering and my hygiene routine has become such a self-care ritual. I love physically pouring into myself. It's something about getting into the shower. It's something about wiping away the day, washing away the day. I even do shower meditations. I listen to frequencies. It's I listen to my favorite music and then I get out of the shower and then sometimes I'll use my expensive body butters. It's such a ritual that however you like shower, I don't really care. But today I wanted to talk about the corrective shower routine. I keep seeing a whole bunch of TikToks about the everything shower and I love it. Everything shower is really when you're doing your hair, you're shaving, you're exfoliating, you're washing your body and you walk out of that shower in a daze, in a tizzy because you've just done so much in the shower. So Sometimes when I see everything showers, I have an everything shower, but I have two different everything showers. I have the everything shower when I'm like getting ready for a date or it's a true self care night and I'm putting on all my expensive body butters, my expensive shower gels. I'm just, I'm really going in to smell good. Then I have another shower routine, which is a corrective shower routine. Obviously I want to smell clean and everything like that, but I'm really focusing on body hyperpigmentation. I'm focusing on evening out my skin tone i'm focusing on strawberry legs i'm focusing on the softness and smoothness of my skin i am really trying to get in there and it's less about smelling good and it's more just about how i want my skin to look and feel so if you're interested in just like my smelly good stuff that i'm currently using right now you can go ahead skip to the end i'll include like a little bit about what is in my everyday shower what i'm using spoiler alert it's by way um, I use whey and Naturium every single day, but once a week I take a corrective shower and I want to show you the products that I have been loving lately that you need today. I want you to grab your notes. I want you to grab a snack. I want you to grab some wine, some water, whatever it may be. You need to write this out in your notes. All right. And then you need to go to Target. You need to go to Sephora. You need to go to wherever you need to go and you need to get these products. You know what the number one thing that I've really noticed in my skin when I've used this? Not only is my skin more even, obviously, but it's softer for longer. You know, a lot of times when I would do these corrective showers or even if I were to just exfoliate in the shower, my skin would be soft for like a day. But I noticed with this routine, my skin stays soft for like a week. It's a softer week. It retains moisture so much better. Um, my skin is very rarely ashy or dry and just my legs just look so, 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 so good. So I want to share all of those products with you today. Write them all down. Let me know if you have product recommendations down in the description. I remember one of these products. Um, I'll get to it. Someone was like, go to Sephora and get so and so. And I was like, OK, because I be listening to y'all. Right. Um, I went to Sephora. I got it. And I was like, you just changed my life. That's so crazy. You just changed my life with this one product. Um, so I love when y'all give me recommendations because I'd be listening and I'd be spending my own coin going to get these products. So without further ado, let's get into my corrective body care routine. So my corrective body care routine starts before I even get in the shower and I like to dry brush. Dry brushing is really amazing for exfoliation, for circulation, for evening out your skin tone. It is just so good. If you can even incorporate it like two or three times a week, 
it just takes you like five minutes. It might not even take you five minutes. I have an entire video, again, if you have a short attention span, I'll include it down below on dry brushing. But I use this one from Eco Tools. This one is so amazing. It's so perfect for dry brushing. I got mine off of Amazon, but you can really just use any dry brushing tool. I like this one because it has like a little um, handheld thing so it's very easy to dry brush so a couple things that you want to think about when you're dry brushing dry brushing is all about circulation right so you want to really open up your lymph nodes your lymph nodes are here and in your groin area so it might sound dumb but it's not dumb but the first thing you want to start doing is you want to start topping your lymph nodes i top mine about like 15 to 20 times to just get them opened up so with dry brushing what you want to do is you want to depending on what you want so I like to do short strokes. You wanna keep in mind with dry brushing is you wanna think about your body in two halves, below your belly button and above your belly button. And this is kind of, you want to go towards the center of those two halves. If you wanna think about it in another way, all your dry brushing strokes should be towards your heart. So it depends on what you want. Um, for circulation, even in out skin tone, I recommend short strokes. Um, excuse my arm, I was color correcting. But you wanna start off in short strokes like this, and you're just gonna to wanna to go towards the heart, right? Toward the heart, and that's when those lymph nodes, when you really open them up. If you want a more relaxing kind of self-care day, you can do really long strokes. Um, this is super, super, super relaxing. Um, it might not seem like it's gonna do anything. You're like, why is this a thing, you know? And then you're really gonna start noticing it after a couple weeks. So again, you wanna keep on doing it towards the heart. It takes me about five minutes. I personally don't see it as a chore. I just see it as such a self-care thing. Um, but yes, definitely try dry brushing. There are so many amazing benefits to it. Again, go and check that TikTok out below if you want just quick information or you need something to pull up the next time you go dry brushing, you need to know like what so to do. So then we get in the shower. I personally like hot showers. I love me a hot shower. I know you're not supposed to shower in super hot shower, but like child, I don't care. There's, they say it dries out your skin, like whatever. Um, so the first thing you want to do is double cleanse. Double cleansing is so, so, so important. It's something that I just learned about this year at my big age of 26. I didn't know you were just supposed to double cleanse, but honestly, it makes sense. You know, you got to kind of treat your, your body like your face and you should be double cleansing your face. And when you double cleanse your face, you do it for in my opinion, two different reasons. One, you do it because you just want to get that first layer of dirt out. It should be antibacterial, something that doesn't dry out your skin too much, but definitely has kind of those some of those stripping qualities to really just remove any dirt and oil off of your skin. And it makes your next body wash, whether it's a smell good body lotion, I mean, a smell good body wash, it makes it penetrate more and actually makes it last throughout the shower or throughout the day. But um, also if you're using um, the body wash that I'm about to show you, um, in a few moments um, it helps it work better because that first layer of dirt I recommend the Dr. Bronner's one I know a lot of people talk about the Dove one the Dial one as well I like the Dr. Bronner's all in one they do have like a liquid version of this but child I just like a bar of soap I like a bar of soap this is also amazing clean your girl down there you know if you don't really like feminine washes this is an amazing amazing choice I like this because again I can feel it stripping and get that first layer of dirt away but it also is not really drying um a lot of the times um my everyday shower I'll just use this if I'm, if I'm just then we get to exfoliation now when I'm using that Dr. Bronner's soap and then my next body wash as well I use an African net sponge this changed my life y'all I use this every day so technically I do exfoliate every single day this one is from Hani but you I've gotten ones from Amazon it really really doesn't matter if you take anything away from this video, you need to use an African nut sponge. This will change the game for you. It exfoliates your body. It gets in those hard to reach places. Um, you replace it, you know, however many times you need to. But um, loofahs have like a lot of bacteria that are harboring in them. And then washing with a wash rag doesn't really do anything for my skin. Um, so I would highly, 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 highly recommend an African net sponge. Okay, so we've dry brushed, we've cleansed off that first layer, we are continuously exfoliating, now we're going into our physical exfoliant and our 
chemical exfoliant. I just got a new box of this. This is from Osei, Osea. This is their body polish. It is a physical and AHA exfoliant. It's kind of like a gel to milky type of texture. I love this stuff. I absolutely, absolutely love this stuff. Um, I'll typically go in the shower with this Eco Tools and in small circular motions, I will go around my legs and everything like that and I will exfoliate with that body polish. I like body polishes rather than exfoliators because, or like harsh exfoliators with those like big beads is because this has some type of consistency underneath those beads that not only dissolves the beads onto your skin, but it also nourishes the skin. It doesn't just strip it away with it being an exfoliant. It makes your skin so smooth, so soft, like I love that. If you don't wanna spend that, I have a million different tree hut scrubs. Oh my gosh. I have a million different tree hut scrubs. Go on to Target, um, which, and I love those too because those pair well with like scents as well. So you can really start in your scent family with the tree hut, starting all the way back in your um, exfoliation part of your routine. But I love that body polish. So now we're going to get into a body wash. I am a Notorium girly. Currently I'm using the Smoother Glycolic Acid Body Wash. This one gently exfoliates and resurfaces to reveal softer, smoother skin. Love this one. Again, it's not stripping, but um, it is so good at evening out my skin tone. Pro tip, when you're using a body wash that has glycolic, AHAs, BHAs, whatever, pro tip is to leave it on your skin almost like a face mask. Um, if you leave it on your skin for a little bit longer, maybe two, three minutes, maybe wash your face in the shower, brush your teeth in the shower, I don't know, do something else in the shower, do some meditation. If you leave it on your skin, you allow it to penetrate more and it works even better. But um, I love all the Notorium. I love Notorium too because you guys can like go to Target and whatever you're trying to focus on. I think they have a vitamin C, um, glycolic. They just have so, they have so many. Um, I'm an attorney of stand. I've never worked with them in a professional sense, but I will never, ever, ever stop talking about them. Now, if you are a shaving girl like me, I have really only one recommendation. Oh my God, please excuse the top of this. This is the Flamingo um, Foaming Shaving Gel. I have used this for years this is so 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 good again won't strip the skin it has a really good lather and I also like the Athena Club razor looks like this it's really 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 good it comes in a cute pink it makes my shower it looks so cute and pink a lot of people say ask me um why I don't do laser hair removal why do I still shave sometimes I don't feel like y'all understand how big my tattoo is <laughs> Uh, I would love to do laser hair removal, but my um, dragon goes all the way down my thigh and the tassels of the dragon go all the way down to my girl. So um, I can't get a Brazilian laser hair removal and I can't get laser hair removal on everything but this thigh. So and I could only get it on like my two calves and my upper thigh. And I just like didn't want to do that child. I was like, so I don't do laser hair removal. I still have to shave. Um, I guess I could get waxed, but um, those are the things that I use to shave. So we just did all that exfoliation, girl. We done dry brushed, we done cleansed our skin, used our African nut sponge, we done exfoliated our skin in a physical way, then we added chemical exfoliants. We gotta add some moisture. We gotta add some moisture. This is where the moisture starts to come. I love to deep condition my body. I love, 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 love to deep condition my body. I have naturally really dry skin. I have been obsessed with the honey splash salve this stuff is so good it's expensive though it's described as like an in shower treatment and you apply this right before you get out of the shower when i tell you if you are not a lotion girly this acts like a lotion and keeps your skin hydrated for so long without that sticky feeling or that extra step of doing lotion y'all look like this is amazing. You want another alternative, Nivea and Olay make an in-shower body treatment. I would highly recommend if you are shaving, if you're exfoliating, if you're just like removing that dead, that dead layer of skin, doing an in-shower body conditioner will save you like, just thank me later. 
So when I get out of the shower, the first thing that I do is a body serum. Now, when you're applying any of these lotions, these body serums, I lightly towel off. I still want my skin to be a little damp. Now, especially if you aren't using a body serum, you should be applying your lotion on wet, like damp skin. You should be applying it on damp skin. But I go in with the Topicals Slather. Now, I made a TikTok about my corrective shower routine and one of my um, followers in the comments was like, use go and get topical slather at Sephora. And I was like, okay, cause I'd be listening to y'all. This changed my life. This is an exfoliating bottom body serum. It has retinol, lactic acid, urea, and squalene. Let me get the cons out of the way. It smells bad. All topicals products smell bad. I don't understand why. I just don't understand why they smell bad. Also the applicator, like you can't control how much comes out of this. It just like comes out, like you cannot control it. When I tell you this keeps my skin so even, so supple, so soft for so long. I haven't had a product yet that has literally changed the game in terms of hygiene routine in a minute. I've kind of stuck with the products that I just showed you for a minute. Nothing has been like life changing until this. This is so, so good. Like y'all, Please, like go go to the bio, click check out, and y'all need this expeditiously. So now, there's a whole big debate whether it's oil first or lotion first. Now, I grew up putting on lotion then oil. Once I started putting oil then lotion or like a body butter, I'm gonna change the game for me. So I'm an oil then lotion person. I have been obsessed with a number of body oils. The Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Oil Mist will always take the cake. Pro tip with this, what you can do is you can take a perfume oil, like a cheap one, like Namat from Ulta, and you can pour the perfume oil in this and it makes you smell so, so, so good. Um, just leaves your skin. I, I like a body oil, but just because it, I feel like it seals in that initial moisture that was on my skin, especially if I walk out with damp skin. I don't know. I love it. Debate me in the comments. I'm just showing y'all my corrective shower routine. Then we're going in with my fave, my daddy, my boo, my lover. Like I'll do anything. This, the Nivea Essentially Enriched. Do you know, ever since I started talking about this product, y'all keep selling it out on the shelves. This product is so good. It is so good. Now, it, it definitely has a stickier formula, but the way that it hides, it makes your skin look like you have body glow on it. It makes your skin look so healthy, so youthful, so amazing. I will never, I have gone through so many bottles of these and the other Nivea lotions don't hit the same. They just don't. It's the one in the blue bottle. I have, I have not found a lotion that I like since. I will never give up on this. I will buy it in bulk. If they ever discontinue it, I'll be the last person to buy it. Like, this is so, 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 Let's so Let's move good. on to deodorant. I have been using the same one for about two years. The Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. I've gone through so many bottles of these. I get mine from Sephora. Um, it keeps me from sweating, makes me smell so good. Pairs well with all of my perfumes, everything like that. Now I'm a wear perfume to bed type of girly, but um, whenever I'm doing this body care routine, I'm not really focused on scents, but um, I will show you some of the scents that um, I've personally just been loving with this shower care routine. The first one is from Le Mans Gourmand. It's part of their like clean girl scent collection. It's the 0001. This is truly like a clean girl scent. Like, like going to the gym. This is a perfect going to the gym type of fragrance. Um, I've also been obsessed with for a number of years the vanilla woods by seven virtues so good stepping out of the shower and then another one from Lehman gourmand is the creme vanilla this one is so good as well really good light um vanilla scent now i know i said that this wasn't a smelly good um body care routine but i do quickly want and then also comment down below if you want my everyday shower routine again this is a once a week type of thing but when I do want to smell good, when it's date night, when I'm going out and I really, really, really want to smell good, I'll use like a Tree Hut vanilla fragrance, um, a Tree Hut vanilla exfoliation. And I'll go in with the Whey, the Whey um, body cleanser in St. Bart's. 
and I will also follow up and pair it with the Whey Body Cream in St. Bart's. Now, when you're using like a smell good body butter like this, it's also important to pair it with a base lotion. If you just pair this, all of the scent, all the fragrance is just gonna be soaked up into your skin. So if you apply this first and you're gonna really pair it on top of this and you're gonna be able to smell it all day long. I know I threw a lot of information at you, but hopefully you found that super helpful, super informative. Again, let me know down in the comments if you wanna see my everyday shower routine, if you wanna see some more fragrance or some more um, good smelling hygiene routine, products but i do that once a week and my skin is so smooth it is so soft um and i love the way that my body care routine has transformed with these products so let me know if you try them keep me updated dm me on instagram follow me on tiktok everything like that and again if you haven't already subscribed go ahead hit that subscribe button go ahead hit that like button and i will see you in the next video bye y'all